Inquiring minds want heavy things to hit other things with. I used like a huge sword, I think, in Dark Souls 2. It was like a big flat thing, almost looked like a breaker sword from Final Fantasy. Uh, oh, that lever probably just calls the elevator. It's probably nothing secret. Totally planned it. Oh, there's a, a thrall here, too. Ah. All right. Get a drink here. Not there. Over here. Okay, gotta lure the knights once again to try and make this fall. Okay, that I've already been to. You are closer than I would like you to be. Okay, did he fall? Good. Now for the crossbow, dude. Come on, friend. Why is he suddenly not dumb? There we go. It only took him just a little bit longer to be dumb. All right, so this drop is kind of scary to me. So this one here I can do. It's this one that scares me. I did it. Okay. I don't know if that's the lady that I hear that's about to come around the corner. Yes, it is. Hi. Don't mind me. Nope. Don't. No, it's okay. Don't worry about it. I thought I dodged that. Ah, shit. Why are you awful? Shit. <laughs> Why are the ladies awful? At least I know that jump is doable. I hate, I hate fighting them. <laughs> Alright, but... Hey, that this is why we spent our souls. Death is acceptable at this juncture. Feel like I've done this a billion times already. Oh, 
I wonder if I can just book it. You think I can just book it to where I need to go instead of killing all these enemies? Where do I make the drop? Oh shit. It's right here. I am alive? Somehow? Alright. Gotta deal with you again. Alright, one sec. Just gonna grab these. I know there's not a lot of them, but there are some. God, the, the radius on her swings. Again? Well, there she goes. She's dead. Does that count? <laughs> Fuck. Undead Legion Helm. Is that where I'll find the, the, the guys that said that they were in Faron? Faron was the other path that I did not explore. But I think I'm actually almost done with this cathedral here. I just have to see what's beyond this lady. And then there's that fog gate, which I'm presuming is a boss fight. Just a little annoying that I'm doing this again. Because I'm rushing the fight with the lady. Just do this. Yep, so can he though. Ah, shit. <laughs> Did he just survive that drop? Holy crap! That thick guy's a monster! Oh, give to Ludlith, the transposing kill. <laughs> oh, do you think the item just said that to begin with? No, it just said. It just said, uh, I went and I examined it to see what it said. And it just says, use to learn transfusions or whatever. It didn't say give to Ludlith. That has to be only part of the, the tool tip. That's a little annoying that that vital information is only contained within a tool tip, though. Come on. Oh boy, an arbalest. I didn't. Okay, this is this is a pain. I think I'm gonna have to actually lure the big greatsword guy. I, I don't think I can just bait him or just run past him. Hi there, friend. I'm just gonna run in a big circle and hope that you don't meet me on the other side of it. Okay. <laughs> ah, but the other guy is coming for me now. Let's see if I can just avoid him. Oh, that was scary. I'm going to wait for her to turn around if I can. 
get the ambush strikes on her back for uh, an easier fight. What is she doing? God. Oh my God. Why doesn't she try to use any of her spells? Why is she only swinging that thing? Do you, does this one not know how to read? Are you just carrying the book for effect? Because when you go to do your, your spells is when you leave a big opening for me. And you're just swinging away at me the whole time. Oh my god, finally. I don't know why this one was <laughs> so awful to me. All right, these are the dudes that bully me when I was getting attacked by the giant. I baited them down before, but now I've finally gotten up here to where they are. All right. Let's see where this ladder is. Imagine this ladder just leads to a place I already had like access to, and I didn't have to do any of this to actually get like any of the dropping to get here. <laughs> oh no, I predicted it. I'm an idiot. I didn't see that ladder when I came through here. Oh, <laughs> damn it. Damn it. Okay, fine. It's whatever. It's fine. I'll live. My ego won't though. All right, but that, I think that means I've explored everything. Except for the, uh, except for the fog gate. All right, friend, you just buffed it. Did you really need to buff it again? Jumping attack. Got him. Oop. Out of curiosity, does the does this guy respawn? I also just want to be able to see him in the corner because I haven't seen him like hiding up in the corner. I don't see him. Oh, I wanted to see him. Uh, Lying in wait, so I could ogle how horrifying he looks. Okay, so I need to make it back to the bonfire. The easiest path to do that is... I guess I can just run through here, run across here. See ya. That gremlin's trying hard to get to me, but I'm gonna I'm gonna rest at this bonfire to recharge my essence because I'm off to a boss fight, as far as I can tell. Now to get where I needed to go, I needed to go through here. Right, are you doing okay down there? Okay, he's still he's still just chilling out down there. I need to go this way. And then I need to drop. Is it this way? I want to get into the pit. How do I get into the pit again? Oh, it's, I don't even need to go through the graveyard. I can just go up here. And then I go over here. 
Do not get leeched because that would be awful before the boss fight. Is this really the fastest way? It has to be, because the only other path that I have that's going to get to the boss is going to be uh, through the, the slime infested water. I don't want to deal with that. So, oh, I guess I could um, take the elevator that I kept taking up to where the, that crossbow guy was and drop down. That's also an option. Oh, that leads over to the, the weird bed chamber again, doesn't it? Okay. Nope, you scared me for a second. send this ladder back just in case or this elevator back do you think I can just go to the boss without all of them coming after me nope that knight did not appreciate my appearance wretch ahead but no tough enemy ahead okay so the boss isn't hard no lord of cinder ahead good luck okay good luck Deacons of the Deep. Try sweeping attack. Oh, is this just like a mob? There's a chubby boy. Is he the target? No, there's one that's glowing in there too. There's a few chubby boys. Okay, that didn't damage like the boss health bar. Do they die? Or do they stay dead or are they getting revived? No, they're fading away. So what happens if I hit the glowing one? Okay. The glowing one does like damage to them and then it switches to a different one. <laughs> I'm being bullied. Okay. I'm guessing I want to prioritize the glowing one then. That just cleared out a few of them. Oh, there are more coming out. Okay. So targeting ones that are not the glowing one are is not benefiting me. I'm not I'm not low like thinning the herd when I do that. This is a good weapon for this, though. It's very wide and sweepy. I don't like whatever these guys are doing. Wah! I don't know where that came from.
Okay, so they're all granting power to it. There's ones with blue robes now. They have more health. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I suddenly just took a pretty chunky amount of health or amount of damage. Okay, but it's just like a mob fight, right? You kill the red one until the the patriarch shows up. And then you just target him. Okay, so this ladder, I think if I take this elevator, I like how I keep saying ladder. We take this elevator and I think what I can do that's faster is if I go up here. Ah, shit. Well, it would be faster if I didn't uh, do this. So maybe resetting this elevator is not so easy. Oh wait, no, I'm, I'm so used to going this way that I just start doing it by default. But if I go over here, then I'm right at the entrance. And then I can take my elevator. Yikes. Come on, man. I'm just passing through. I'm trying to go. I'm just trying to go kill your entire. Uh, uh, what is the word for uh, like a religious hierarchy? Clergy. Is that what I'm looking for? Oh, is it one of the big ones now? Okay, the big guy's here. I tried to roll that. <laughs> uh, ooh, uh. This is this is scary. I don't know what's happening. No. I was cursed. 
which killed me instantly. I still saw I had full health. Well, not full health. I still had half of my health bar. But unlike in Dark Souls 1, if you got cursed, you were... You were instantly dead. Not... Well, yes, you were instantly dead, but you also lost half of your health bar until you had your... your curse purged. But my health bar looks... normal. So is curse now just an instant kill and that's it? Because that's why I hated, hated Basilisks in the first game. Because I got cursed and it was a bitch to try and figure out how to get uncursed. And also, once again, I autopiloted to this ladder that I did not need to actually climb. All right, you killed yourself for nothing, my friend. Trying very hard. <laughs> All right, my souls are like way over there. That's where I got cursed. the The big, scary, dark sky uh, made me uh, hesitate. That one's way over there. Oh no, I'm cornered. Does that interrupt his attack if I hit him? It looks like it. I think being aggressive is honestly the, the play here. Oh, uh, he's still alive? How about now? I got the soul of the Deacons of the Deep, and I got a small doll. What is the small doll? Key item? Yes, yeah, silverwork doll depicting a young squire. Show item info. It's not going to give me any more information. Oh, here. In the legendary old city of Irithil, situated in the Boreal Valley, the Pontiff Sullivan gave this doll to valued subjects so that they might use it to cross the barrier when they return home. 
Listen carefully, and you can hear it say, Wherever you go, the moon still sets in Irithyll. Wherever you may be, Irithyll is your home. So do I need this to access Irithyll? Is that an area I can go to? That's what my current guess is. I have to find Irithyll or the Boreal Valley or whatever they're going to call it. And that doll will allow me to access it. So I killed the the deacons. Is there like a path beyond? Nope. Okay then. <laughs> uh I guess it's on to fair and keep then. Oh, that knight is on the stairs just waiting for me. <laughs> Deacons of the Deep. I thought Aldrich was here, though, so that that confuses me. But maybe, maybe I need the doll to reach Aldrich. Maybe it, Aldrich isn't here, I, I have no clue. Hey there. I hope you're enjoying the videos of the Dark Souls 3 adventure with me and my best friend. I'd love to hear what you all think, so please leave a like or a comment and consider subscribing to follow my journey to beat as many games as I can. Thank you for taking the time to watch, and I'll see you in the next one.